what to expect from Apple's weekly announcement this week. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week, we're expecting yet another Apple announcement, but if you've been paying attention, you may have noticed something new with Apple's approach. Instead of a huge event, we're seeing smaller, more frequent announcements. So let's dive into what we might see this week, why Apple's going for weekly announcements instead of a big event, and what this could mean going forward. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk about why we're not seeing a big Apple event. Traditionally, Apple's loved the grand stage events, the lights, the live demos, the excitement of revealing their latest innovations. These events bring massive attention, and the big reveals create a lot of hype. But here's the thing. Apple's already had some major events this year. We've seen the launch of the iPhone 16, the Apple Watch Ultra 3, new AirPods, and more. All of these events were huge and drew tons of attention. But as we get into the tail end of the year, Apple seems to be shifting its strategy a bit. Rather than organizing another major event, they're moving towards weekly announcements. And this is actually pretty smart. First of all, it keeps the excitement going week by week. Instead of everyone waiting months for the next big reveal, we're now constantly on the lookout, wondering what Apple's gonna do next. It's like Apple's keeping the conversation going, and we're all part of it. There's another reason why this approach might be better right now. Flexibility. Running a big event means committing to a set time, planning everything in advance, and hoping all the products and updates are ready. But with weekly announcements, Apple can work on a more flexible schedule. If one product isn't quite ready, they can simply hold off and announce it the following week. It's a less risky approach that allows them to stay on schedule, especially if there are last minute adjustments. Now, let's talk about what we might actually see this week. First, the rumor mills buzzing about new MacBook Pro models, possibly featuring the latest M3 chip. Apple's M series chips have been groundbreaking in terms of power and efficiency, and an M3 equipped MacBook Pro would likely push performance even further. We could see faster processing, better battery life, and even improvements in graphics capabilities. Ideal for power users like designers, video editors, and developers. Then there are the iPads. Apple's iPad lineup has become incredibly diverse, from the budget-friendly iPad to the high-end iPad Pro. Rumor has it we could see an update to the iPad Air or even the iPad Mini. Apple's focus on integrating Apple Pencil compatibility, enhanced displays, and improved processors across its tablet lineup has made these devices more versatile than ever. A refreshed iPad would be a welcome addition, especially for those looking for a lightweight, powerful device for work, creativity, or even gaming. Of course, we can't forget software updates. Apple might roll out new iOS, macOS, and iPadOS versions. And while these updates might seem small on the surface, they often bring valuable new features. For example, we could see enhanced privacy settings, more customization options, or new tools that make Apple's ecosystem even smoother. And that's one of Apple's strengths, the way all its products and software work together seamlessly. So let's look at the big picture here. By releasing updates in this weekly drip feed style, Apple is keeping us engaged without having to put on a massive show every time. It's keeping consumers interested, it's flexible for them, and it keeps their ecosystem fresh and relevant. They're also reminding us of how each piece fits into the bigger puzzle of the Apple ecosystem. Every announcement, whether it's a MacBook, an iPad, or a software update, works to keep us invested in the entire Apple experience. In the end, this shift to weekly announcements rather than one big event is an interesting move, and it might be a look at how Apple handles things in the future. Instead of saving everything for a handful of massive keynotes, we might see Apple spreading out its updates, keeping the hype going week after week. It's an approach that's low cost, low risk, and keeps the fan base constantly engaged. All right, that's a wrap for today. Let me know in the comments what you're hoping to see from Apple this week. Do you like this new approach of weekly announcements or are you hoping for another big Apple event? If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates.